Good morning, guys. YouTube world. Hope all is well. Hope all is well. Today's job. Got the guys getting the tools. But today's job is pretty simple. It's about a 75 foot Versalock retaining wall. This area you see over here is going to be for a playground. One second. You can pull up a little bit. All right. But uh, yeah, we're doing a nice 75 foot verse log retaining wall here. We're gonna angle it over. Real simple, uh, this is for a playground out of school. The school ended up getting a grant from the state. So we're here contracted to put the new retaining wall in. We got our machines, our stone. So today should be a fun one. How y'all feeling? feeling good. All right, all right. <laughs> um, one thing I'm glad about it was a mess here whenever I came here last week nothing but mud from the uh, guys building elevator shaft so it's a good sign whenever uh, the GC cares about his job site so we, he got this gravel so we're not in mud and all muddy and track of mud so that's one good sign of a GC but anyways should be a fun day getting everything prepped and we should get our base dug out and we can get land hopefully have this whole first course laid today i would give ourselves a, a little bit more more space than that like back in no I, I, I would move it up maybe to about here Should it just the back end of the brick yeah yeah so if, if, if you, you mark the but we still gotta put geo grid in here. I, I I would move it back just just so we, we got space for that boom boom and then uh, over to here. So I would say maybe like here. So the bricks going all the way out here. No, so the front of the bricks won't be here. You know what I'm saying? Well, that was the same way that I did. Yeah, but I, I, I like to mark the front, the front. So whenever I come with the excavator, uh, we're good. I would say we could probably do about. Yeah, about, about here. Just hold, hold this because it ain't going in now. I'll, I'll paint it. No, nah, just, just hold it right there and I can paint it real quick. What you think? Then we got about a foot. Mm -hmm. wow, that's, that's about right. Yeah. Cause then we'll, we put our geo grid in, and all right, you got that paint? Hopefully it's not frozen. Hopefully it's not. Uh, yeah. Any 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 clean gravel I can reuse. We got another one. No, nah, so we're just doing the retaining wall. Okay. So this virtual lot retaining wall is gonna come here. We're gonna L it here. Uh, we're just gonna get everything dug out, and then let's make sure we got the tools. We're gonna get everything dug out, and then we'll start land. Uh, so yeah, we're it's pretty much dug out, though, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, what? No, I already painted it. So while I'm in the excavator, I'm gonna need somebody with with the laser just coming down. You get what I'm saying? All right. Man, making sure I'm to grade with everything. I'm not looking.
got everything cut out. Uh, this side was firmer than this side. I'm not sure you can tell the elevation change, but we cut around four to six inches deeper just so we can add more stone and get more uh, more base and make it ultimately stronger, get, get that muck out of there. So we're pretty much got everything dug out to gray. We're gonna make sure everything's straight. We're not gonna excavate no more before we uh, put our tube in, get our tube in, get everything compacted, and then we can start laying from there. Whenever you do longer walls, this is the way you do it. So some people use a bar straight across and then you use a laser. We're, we're just doing like how, how we do our pavers. Cause like whenever we do the smaller walls, we, we use the level, but you're not guessing, but it just takes longer, you know what I'm saying? So if you do it with the street bars, all you gotta do is pull, pull your bars down, just how you do with pavers. And once, once you get everything in, you're good. So now you know you got a, a nice level playing field. making progress here just checked in with the uh, project foreman just to make sure our grades were on for the wall for our step up so making sure everything's properly buried even the step up 
because we're at kind of like three different grades. You got a grade right here, and this over here is about three inches higher. Then this is three inches high. So we're just making sure and double checking our grades so we don't have to work twice. Peter's putting the base in. We'll flee out this way with one man and then we'll flee out this way. Just so we're uh, twice as productive. So my dad's gonna work over here, get the base in, get everything properly compacted. And then we can keep rolling from here. Here, I'll, uh, here, I, here, we, we got a small pin somewhere. I, I can, I can just put a new string up and then you can put yeah, your string up. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it right here. I mean, that's six foot. Yeah. How many points is he away? Thirty-six. We'll see. He, he might. He might not get that. So, I, try to fill this up. So, we should definitely watch basketball tonight. I, I, should, I should watch the game tonight. Yeah, I gotta go get the ball. That'd be funny if he gets it, they still lose. situation we would have been good with our setback but in this situation the 
gonna be a playground and they're going with AstroTurf. So instead of us doing our step up here, we would have had around seven inches of the Blockberry. But since they're going with four inch to AstroTurf, it won't, it, it, it'll, it will probably hold, but I don't like taking chances. So I'd rather just, just dig, dig this gravel out. And uh, well, we're basically going to bury, bury the first course until we get to our, our angle point in, in this corner over here. So it, it, it is what it is. It, it'll take a little bit of extra time, but I, I'm going to be able to sleep at night tonight knowing I, I made the right choice and gave uh, gave the customer a solid product that's going to last so that should be good i'll dig that out Those street rails. <laughs> um, if, if, it, if it was concrete or anything else. I, we would have been fine. There would have been like seven inches, eight inches, the block would have been buried. But in this instance, without four inches of AstroTurf, it wouldn't, I, I'm not trusting <coughs> AstroTurf, the whole, whole back of retaining wall, the whole back of hillside. So it, it is what it is. All right, so around 20 to 30 minutes of work is all, is all it took. So, like I said, now it's totally overkill, but I'd rather be overkill than me constantly thinking about the wall whenever it rains, because I'm not sure you can see parking lot up here. This wall has to retain this hillside and all the pressure that comes with it. So I, I'm, I don't mind the extra work and we only might have lost 40 minutes work, but uh, like I said, your name's on the line and uh, it's just about doing it right and giving uh, the customer the product that they pay for. So we're getting there, making progress. Pete was doing his thing. So I'm about to take over for him. My dad's about to go this way and then I'm about to get this in. So this is how we base our blocks. 
my, my dad does it a different way. I like spreading out our number nine stone. So we lay a bed, 2B limestone, and then this is our number nine stone. So it's just smaller finds. I love using the angler stone. Uh, some guys go with a modified that has those finds in them, but um, I found we have, have had better luck just using angler uh, limestone. But uh, to get started, I'll, I'll, I'll screed out our number nine. And it, it all takes time and patience. You won't get it the first time. It took me about three years to properly efficiently be able to lay block. So once I'm screeded out, I'll come and get my lifter. Make sure your job site is clear. I'll get my lifter, set it down. And if you come over here, in, in, in this seam right here, you'll be able to tell. So if the seams are lining up, you know your base is on. So my base is on, I'll come in. You might not be able to see this on camera, but it's a little high right here. If you go down, it's a little high. I'll knock that down. Check my base. Make sure I'm level. Check over here. Make sure I'm level. It's a little high. Give it a nice, nice little tap. Check. Make sure I'm level. Make sure I'm level. And then check my pitch on top. Make sure we got pitch. And then we're good to go. All right, so we pretty much got the first course laid, which is a good sign for day one. We got to at least get two or three courses up just in case some of the silt sap falls. It doesn't uh, shift any blocks. So we'll get about two, three courses up. We'll push this limestone over just so if anything falls, our base wall won't kick out. Hopefully it won't. We're talking about a light rain, but making progress. Everything's nice and tidy. So we're gonna be able to get this base course. Uh, well, our second course in, protect our base course. And then that should be it for today. It'll be a good day. Peter's over here. We'll finish getting this side laid. Want to go with an angle instead of a curve because um, any walls I see that blow out or not blow out but they tend to blow out some is the curves that's kind of this uh, Versalock's weak point even with uh, geosynthetic grit that strengthens everything up those curves do tend to bow out a little bit so we're gonna go with an angle it'll be um, just for more longevity but yeah, we're making progress. We're gonna get everything laid and go from there. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for day one. We're wrapping it up. Just got a couple small things to clean up, but we made some good progress. We got our, our base course buried, two other courses on top. So I will have to say it's a good day. Over in this corner, we got everything stitched up. So we're gonna do a stitch instead of a curve. Everything glued up nice and tight. Peter's finishing up the last two blocks and we will be out of here. So definitely was a good day. Now I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone, day two on the job, the guys are getting the drain tubes cut in, what they look like here, we're going to go with three of them on this job site just because um, the flow from the hillside, so we're going to go with three of them, we're going to have one on this end, my dad's cutting the second one, and then we have another one going in on this end down here. Peter's working this side and as you guys can see we're going with a stitch so I'm not sure if you guys know what I mean 
but it's just an, an overlap so this one overlaps this one and then this next block will overlap this so it just gives the wall its proper strength so we're getting going got everything straightened up and once once we get this next row in we'll uh, probably stack up two two more layers get our, uh, our perforated tubing which is here we'll get it connected with an elbow a T and another elbow get everything backfilled and we can go from there all right so I didn't want to bore you guys with clips of us just stacking repeatedly so I hope you guys enjoy this time-lapse uh, this is actually our first job commercial work for a retaining wall uh, I really enjoyed it. I met this GC. Um, actually, he randomly called me. I'm not sure how he found us. I think he said through our website or something like that. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed this job. It took about two days to do. Real simple. Um, just with us expanding in our growth, I kind of feel our next step would be to go to more commercial-based work. So uh, we'll be doing more work for GCs and municipality work. And don't get me wrong, we'll definitely still be doing our uh, paver and residential work. But as we scale up, I just feel like it'll be easier to do more commercial work compared to uh, homeowners, where it's just, it's more, it's very, like, I'm precise on this stuff, but the homeowner stuff is very precise. I also apologize for the scratchy mic. I'm talking through my, my AirPods. And I know they cannot be the best, but um, yeah, if you guys got any other uh, questions about how I do my work or concerns about how we do things, uh, just reach out to me through the comments. I'm happy to shoot you an email about how we do things and uh, go from there. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know if you have any other questions or concerns. And like always, I appreciate you guys watching. All right, guys, and there you go. That's pretty much it. I'll be out of town tomorrow, so the guys are gonna come finish everything up. They just got to put caps down and put some topsoil behind the wall. But that is pretty much it. A new Versalock retaining wall. It's about five feet high once they uh, put the AstroTurf down for the kids. Like I said, it's gonna be a playground. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.